So I was sort of stupid enough to go for the four minutes, and now I thought about four minutes, like, okay, the four minutes is the time I spend in my fire truck going to a fire. And in this moment, there's a lot of things we have to think about if we go to those fires. As you can see, there's a cloud of information over our head. It's sort of resembling the wet day. If we go to an incident and think, what could we get from the wet day? So we go to a building fire and get data from buildings from the wet. This is probably the picture you can draw from the city of Amsterdam where I work. The only problem is that for firefighters, their picture is slightly different. This is what we see. Um, not only the building is seriously on fire, the detail of this picture is actually that it was a normal house which contained an illegal hospital. So this is not what you can find with wet, because that's illegal. Um, the second thing was that my reality and my job are two people got killed in this fire. The problem is, is that we want to use a lot of public and open data available, but we would like to see that we can make it better to use for us. Um, there's another example. If you go to a car accident, so you, you Try to find information about this car on the web. Um, this is the information you get. You kind of picture this car. The only problem is when we arrive, we probably see something like this. The characteristics between the car and this picture, although it's the exact same car, colors don't really come out. Although it's the exact same car, the characteristics are completely different. On the first picture, there's still interesting information for us, but we need to be able to extend that a bit more and make our own statements about this information. So what we the bathroom as well is, is in incidents and accidents you actually never thought were possible. So it's not really clear, but it's a church and that's a family saloon car. It's only just how they are. Try, try, to, try to find some information about that on the web. Probably you will never find anything and people wouldn't believe you on this accident if you didn't show your picture. So what we actually would like to have is by the time we go in those four minutes to an incident, that this information we go ahead, go ahead and have in our head is actually a bit more structured. Um, but about five years ago, I started looking into what the possibilities would be of using linked data and the open, linked open data cloud of a lot of government information available. So we're doing that right now. I started to run my own company in that we're a W3C member and very much into the linked data and the data <coughs> on the web track. Um, we're not researchers because we use so many technology. A lot of people think you come from a research field. We're engineers. We solve problems. Now, that's me on the lower right corner solving this problem, in a single house fire. This is my standard standard work for us. Um, standard work for us, too. I'll check with you on that one. <laughs> so, as you imagine, I'm interested in, in, in the semantics and the fires in Canada. Probably. Guess my book, guess my Twitter handle. Uh, another thing which I want to give you away here is in this four minutes that I've been almost been talking right now, you would have been dead if your house was on fire. So please buy a smoke tip. Seriously, please buy a smoke tip. And for everybody who was wondering what happened here, there was a car, a car in the eastern part of Germany uh, taking an off ramp of a highway, missing the turn at the end, launched himself. A, I think uh, 32 meters through the air is 170 kilometers an hour, that's about 100 miles or something like that. Um, and the fire department too had a good two hours to get this guy out. Um, I hope he'll be still alive because if you have a driving style like this, the chances are pretty. Thank you. <laughs>